Alrighty then. So, I already talked about this, about the Little Mermaid in my last video. Disney has done the same thing. I, they always do this. They just gender swapped another character. You know, people are obviously like burned out by it. You've had the Pinocchio movie with the fairy godmother. You have Ironheart. Obviously, this Little Mermaid now. <laughs> and Snow White. Wait till that happens. They're, they already have the cast for them, and it's going to be, you guessed it, another gender swap. Which, in a way, I get it, but, man, it's just shoved under. Like, this is stuff that they already made. Okay, that's great. But you guys just kept rehashing, changing genders. How about you just make some new shit? I feel like Disney got fucking lazy. Now, for the people, damn. People don't like Ariel now because they changed her. It must be because they're racist. So, and, and that side, I understand how it looks like. So I'm not going to be here and be like, yeah, they need to. Like, I see it. If, if you don't keep yourself up to date with this stuff, yeah, I can see where it sounds fucked up in your eyes. I, I get it. But what happened now? Well, somebody in Twitter, pretty much Disney fans are outraged after AI scientists edit the Little Mermaid's trailer to replace Holly Bailey. Hey, not Holly Berry. Holly Bailey. Uh, with a white woman. So, if you don't keep yourself up to date with this, I, I understand why this sounds really, really messed up. Like, why would you do that? That's almost like blackface, but the other way around, right? Like, that's like a big F you. So, pretty much this Twitter user, which their account has been suspended, shared his uh, work with a side-by-side -side of... Haley as Ariel and the altered one, right? And if you go and watch the newscast, they, they, you know, they're doubly down on that shit. They're like, here's the racist picture. It is racist, and we're gonna control you with the racism part. But this is legitly what happened. They were on Twitter. Somebody's like, yo, man, we got some AI. I wanna show this shit off to you guys. Look what, look, look, look how good it is. Which he claims that if the movie comes out of Little Mermaid, I can. Give me 24 hours and I can render the whole movie looking with the white redhead ginger Ariel, right? So, a lot of the black community is like, what the fuck? That's racist! <laughs> Which, bro, I ain't even gonna get in that. I can see why people are fucking angry, right? If you ain't about watching what's going on with Disney doing this, they do the woke agenda, it gets people triggered. Now the fan base gets like, oh my gosh, why are you guys burning us out, people that don't know what's going on? Why are you being racist? And then everyone talks about it. But this is the thing though, this movie got 1.5 million dislikes, all right? It's so bad that Disney, I mean, well, YouTube ended up um, just canceling the dislike uh, button. I mean, you can't see the dislike button, right? They already took it out of YouTube. You have to put like an add-on to see it. But for the people that can't see, the dislike number keep going up. They stopped it, like that's it. You, it's already between dislikes. You can't dislike it anymore. <laughs> I mean, over a million was already like, damn, the people have spoken, right? So now um, this guy is getting nasty flack for it, right? And then I saw one of my uh, people I watch on YouTube, uh, it's called Abba and Preach, and they talked about uh, gingers being discriminated. I didn't think of this, right? They, they had a good point. I was like, what about the ginger people? They're probably like pissed off because, hey, Ariel's one of our ginger characters. We don't get shown a lot. Like, all we got is like brave, and then the Little Mermaid, and now you took that away from us. So now we're having a point of correction, of people correcting the racism and overcorrecting, and we're back to racism again. God damn. <laughs> and I didn't even think of that, but hey, that is true though. I feel like we're hitting this point where the racism is out of control now. It's like, um, and I don't mean that people are just being racist. People are looking for things to be racist. There was a recent video of this random white lady just enjoying nature. The rain is hitting her face and she's like, I am having a good time. Just joyful. And she decided to record that. 
And then this black lady comes in saying some ludicrous shit. I still don't know how she came into this conclusion, but apparently you can't be walking in the rain because it's racist somehow. I'm just like, man, the overcorrection is bonkers and out of control. But yeah, <laughs> it does look bad. And if you see the take by take, and you don't know the context, yeah, it looks really bad. So for the people that are pissed off, and obviously me as a person that is not black, you know, and then, yeah, I can't say shit on that. Like, I, I, like me just seeing that as a person that's not black, I'm like, I can see why people are not happy with it. And I understand. So now, again, in our cultural world where when you hear something with race, it completely becomes a controversy. Um, the thing is, one of these things was that they were saying, why do people care so much about Ariel and the, her race? Ariel's a mermaid. She's not like a gender or nothing. It's she's a fish or whatever. So if people are like, all right, cool. Then, then I'll just change the video to, to the ginger version. But then people were fucking outraged. And I think more it's like, oh, we see a white person. <laughs> but then it's true. Gingers do not get accountable for this stuff. And I'm just like, oh, wow. See, when you correct things, there's always something else to overcorrect. I think the simple. God damn it. My, my SD card got full. I've been lazy as hell. I've been making so many videos, I forgot my memory card got full. But yeah, I think I was talking about gingers. So oh, there's another thing they're saying. So the the 22 year old Holly Bailey, bro, she be getting hate, and I'm like, why are you guys hating for her? It's just just an innocent girl that they just got her to go do a fucking movie. Of course she's gonna take it. Disney's giving her an opportunity of her life. Of course she's gonna take it. Ain't no whoever hates on her, you're a piece of shit. She literally has nothing to do with this. Now, I disagree with what Disney's doing with the whole woke shit. But at the same time, the people that are against the woke shit, I disagree when you fuckers talk shit about the actors. The actors have nothing to do with this. They don't know what's going. They're just taking a fucking role. It's their job. That's what I don't agree with. So, Holly Bailey, she said that she's focusing on the support she is receiving from children who have been touched by seeing her as a princess who looks like them. Now, I low-key feel like that's a little bit of cap. I feel like that's what they tell her to say. <laughs> I'm sure there's kids that are like, you know what, I want a representation of a character that I love, which they did. They started making like, you know, characters for Disney. But now it's weird, like we're getting like these other races that were like originally like light skin princesses and we're turning them into uh, black characters for the sake of it. And it's like, people just get turned off. If you're a young kid, you, you don't know what the fuck going on. You're like, hey, whatever. I just want to watch this story. I've never seen it before. Looks interesting. <laughs> but yeah, just don't hate on the poor girl, man. You know, Holly Bailey, I feel for you, girl. You didn't do nothing fucking wrong. It's just Disney's woke agenda and you're just caught in the middle of the fire of people that are trying to protect a girl because it sounds like there's a bunch of racists, which there isn't. <laughs> I'm sure there's some racists. But, and all most people are they're just mad that Disney keeps doing this woke shit. It, that's all it is. It's overcorrection. People are turned off. And this is another thing too. I heard what people were saying too. And it's like, Disney's notorious for this too because in China, they don't like black people over there like or if not they try to cover them in movies a good ex example uh the wakanda movie they got black panther and you know how you have the main character with the mask off and he's just you know the suit well instead they go and they put the mask version off so people won't know that it's a black character they do the same thing with star wars when they had a black the black main black character in star wars same thing they kind of put him on the side but the american version he's all full so people are like what are they gonna do when you get the white actress and you put it in there but at, at the same time i'm just like yeah they're gonna do the same shit they're gonna maybe put her in her back or some shit you, you know how dude it's all business for them and and they're making money off you 
by by putting the race thing. And it's like, you know, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't. They, they're just doing it because they know Disney's making a bunch of fuck you money right now. And that's all they're doing. And the originality, it's fucking done. Like, like I, they haven't made anything new, really. Like, it's, it sucks. <laughs> I want to see cool new movies and stop putting woke shit. You know, look what happened to Buzz Lightyear. God damn it. All that drama. At the end, they didn't make any money. They went too harsh. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. When are we going to get along? I mean, the mid-elections are here. That's just making it even worse. We just keep tearing each other apart. It sucks. Can we all get along? Hey, so yeah, the new a the AI version. <laughs> you, you still have it up on Twitter, by the way. Oh, and another thing I didn't like is that people that kept posting that video, they got their accounts banned on Twitter. I'm telling you. When companies start deleting you regardless of what you think because of your standard, that like you don't hit the quota, that's when we have a problem. Man. I try to be more positive, but jeez, this is making me kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys still, like, could care less? Like, hey, I'm not going to even watch this shit, so I don't fucking care. I'm not going to show this shit to my kid. Or are you like, hey, I'm excited for a black uh, um, Little Mermaid character. Hell yeah. Or are you, like, stuck in the middle like me that you're just like, bro, I see gunfires both fucking sides. And if you tippy toe one side, one side hates on you. It's just like politics. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Like and subscribe. And I will see you hopefully later. Peace.